Hey guys, I'm Rose Van, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was that, uh, yeah, we basically did some side quests dealing with an island, uh, Iaboa, I Iaboa, I think is the island is what we call it. Um, we're still stuck in this island, we're just doing some more side quests that are pertaining to a particular... Oh, that's the freaking mercenary. Um, but yeah, we're still in this particular uh, area for some more of the side quests. We do have one more side quest here that we can get. Uh, my first instinct right now is to go into the message board and probably pick up some contracts because uh, the more contracts I have, the more rewards we can get. Like, if there's non-time-based contracts, I would definitely grab a hold of them and hopefully uh, run with that. <clears throat> Okay, well, I'm just listening to the kid, just because. Alright, let's interact with this. Okay, so we got some contracts with with ones that don't have timers on them, I guess, I would say. Yeah, I don't want to deal with naval contract right now. Yeah, I might not do the timed contract at the moment, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, what are the other contracts for? What are the contracts that I just picked up for? Horror of Wars. Uh, win battles for the Spartans all over Greece. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, what was the other one that I saw? Raging War? Pentaconters. Pentaconters. Ah, this one. Inabantis. Really? I'm not going to get into Abantis in a long time, honestly. Uh, yeah, let me also mark for the synchronization point. Because I was gonna do this as well for this episode. But yeah, overall, that's pretty much it. it. Like, we just did a bunch of side quests for this island. And then, uh, we just basically, um... Went around the island and just did whatever. I don't think last episode, or the previous episode of this one, was anything too big. Um... But it's something that we did, at least, I would say. Um, in other... Fantastic news that I hear. Uh, GTX uh, graphics card stuff. I've heard that uh, RTX is now a big thing now. So, yeah, it's been days since the announcement. Um, I think it's like two days now at this point. No, not two days. Uh, three days since the announcement of of the uh, the new RTX 3000 series. Um, if you ask me when I'll ever get that, I will probably get it eventually. Um, but it's not going to be anytime soon, sadly enough, because I'm busy trying to do other things at the moment, and, uh, upgrade is kind of in my mind, because my desktop is definitely actually getting, actually, it's surprising, actually, it's been, what, no, yeah, it's like almost five years, it's already probably past five years now at this point, so it's been like about five years since I've owned this, uh, desktop, so I guess it's a... Five year anniversary. In a, in a in a sense, it's a five year anniversary. And at the same time, I forgot to celebrate my eight eight year anniversary as well for the YouTube channel for the channel itself. I totally forgot this. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot my my anniversaries for this channel and the, the desktop computer that I'm using right now. Uh, I mean, the current desktop I'm in using has been serving me very well. I I think that there were times where I was a little frustrated because of like some small things happening or. Uh, OS messing it up or something like operating systems or games just falling apart and, and me not knowing why Oh crap, okay, we're in the slave market. Yeah That is some detailed Statues really that is some detailed statues Excuse my looking I'm pretty sure that's not a good thing though. I actually am surprised that there's some textures that uh, The cloth texture is like going through the wall. I think whoever level design in this area might have accidentally forgot to push it forward a little bit more. Yeah, put put both cloth a little bit further ahead. Yeah, I can see why. It's like, if you see the little top part where the brown the brown thingy holding onto the rope of the rings, they're pushed into the wall too much, so I think that that's an actual like level design issue that they caused themselves. Alright, let's talk to this guy. No, 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 this can't... How is this possible? What happened? Abios, what's wrong? What have you found? Master, it's a name. Written in the records over and over again. The name of the man leading the dagger. The Kingfisher. Oh? 
Once you know the Kingfisher's real name, bring him to a court of law. He and the dagger have wounded Evia. Evia should have a chance to decide his fate. I like this guy's outfit. When we were young, when we'd play, I was the Robin, and the Kingfisher was my brother. Oh. But he died. He, he should be dead. I mourned him. I made him a grave. Please tell me he's not one of them. I beg you, tell me my brother's not a Dagger. Interesting. You know your brother better than these records. If you believe this Kingfisher isn't him, then you're right. Thank you. Yes. The boy I knew, there is no way he could be involved in this. It might be somebody using it as an alias to kind of like throw people off, maybe. When your brother died, did you. did you see his body? No. No body at all. What? No sign, no word, nothing. After Matter died, Butter was not as fit to feed us as he once was. So my brother made sure we never went hungry. He would fish every day until he didn't return. Oh, Jesus. Your brother can't have been born the Kingfisher. Of course he wasn't. Neritos. His name was Neritos. Older than me. <laughs> More trouble than me too. Fighting, stealing. Oh, ah. gosh. But he always looked out for me. Nothing is more important to Envia's survival than stopping the dagger. I am sorry, old friend. The Kingfisher must be dealt with whether he's your brother or not. True. I... Yes, Master. The Master is very well dressed, I though. Understand. I like his outfit. Please, Mistyos. Help me uncover the Kingfisher's true identity. We can clear my brother's name and stop the dagger. Evia would be in your debt. More in your debt. The Magistrate's treasury runs deep. Your reward would not be small. Sure. Whatever it takes, I'm in. Family can be complicated. We'll clear your brother's name and save all Evia while we're at it. I know a farmer who's had dealings with the Dagger's inner circle. If anyone's seen the Kingfisher's true face, it's him. I should pay him a visit. Any other leads? There is a shipwreck along Evia's southern coast, and the theater in Galki City has been spreading the Dagger's lies. Already? We're in a war. Ships are sunk daily. Why does this ship matter? Because this ship appears to belong to the Dagger. A slave I trust waits by the temple above the ruins in Eretria. Speak with her to learn more. Okay. Uh, this guy. Farmer who's <clears throat> had dealings with a dagger. Is it I the same farmer? farmer? Yeah. He didn't know anything important. Did you try mentioning my name? No. I didn't know you were famous, Arabius. I'm not saying I'm famous. <laughs> but in certain circles, well, my name will open doors. I think it's because he's been willing to dig into the dagger's matter just as much as anybody, so... I guess he's like the, the true, like, fire starter of the conversation versus having any other person start it because he's the only one who would always ask about it, probably. You mentioned an evil theater? The theater in Kalki City is a more potent weapon than you realize, Mistyos. The dagger used propaganda to poison the minds of Evians. See what you can learn there. Uh-huh. Um, you seem well connected. How is that? For a slave, you mean? We are not without eyes and ears, Mistyos. We see much and we share it. Slave to slave. Leads, warnings, anything that might help us survive all the way from today to tomorrow. Not bad. I have enough to go on. And the Kingfisher. If I discover here's your brother, if he's the man behind the dagger. He won't be. Return to me when you've learned all you can. Okay. <clears throat> Multiple quests accepted again? Oh wait, no, it might be just one, but then I just haven't marked the one. Oh no, it is multiple quests. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's start with the, uh... The, uh... The uh, closest one, I guess. I, I mean, that's the only one I would rather do first, obviously. 
Um, so let's start off with the closest one right here in the city. Or near this city, or near this market, I guess. Over, like, overall, I feel like this quest is, like... I, I mean, I feel like if each island has something similar to, like, this idea, where there's, like, this big story arc in there, I would be surprised, because that's a lot of work to begin with, because it's, like, multiple stories with multiple palms that each person has to be a part of, and, like, small things can influence the game to be a little different and all that, which is interesting to see. This area will be well defended. Sorry, I'm seeing the lag in the OBS stuff or the recording stuff, and I'm just like, uh... Better stay over there. At the same time, I'm worried, like, or at the same at the same time, back to the GPU talking a little bit, like, I do probably need a new computer in general because of the fact that I feel like uh, a lot of the stuff I have technology-wise is a little behind now at this point. It's been, like, as, as I mentioned, it's been five years old, and a typical desktop span is about seven if you're not doing it... If you're, if you're doing it, like, kind of, like, crazy, like, you're constantly using it, which I haven't really constantly constantly been using it outside of my recordings, uh, which was, like, every now and then. Man, everyone's so loud, Jesus. Killing him won't solve anything, Prexileos! But we can just sit here and let him do this to us, Idea. To the children. You think I don't have their well-being in mind? Well, you certainly aren't acting like it. How dare you? Uh-huh. Calm down and listen to yourselves. The kids are scared. Who do you think you are? The Mistyos is right. Calm down. It's bad for the... Speak up, stranger. Agape this lady is weird. He wants to prove his brother's innocence and destroy the dagger. His brother? Neritos? Didn't he die on... Stop, Idia. We're in enough trouble as it is. Yeah. Tell me what you know. Let's make a deal. Kill a man for me, Mistios. Help me, and I'll tell you about the Dagger's base of operations. We've been through this. No killing. Talk to the man instead. Make him honor his word to pay us. Oh, okay. Deal. I will take care of your problem. There's a man from the Dagger. <clears throat> he approached us one day to help them spread their agenda. We don't care about the Dagger, but we need the extra income. He wanted us and the children to spread the message of the dagger in the theater and on the streets. Huh. Interesting. He's just using you. Exploiting your children for sympathy. Yeah. And now he intends to do it for free. He stopped paying us and threatened to come after our children if we didn't continue. I was going to kill him myself, but Idia... We can't just take a life like that, Prexileos. That's not us. He lives in the large house in the middle of the city. Kill him, and we'll have Drachmi for you. Listen to yourself. Talk to the man, and posture if you must. But we aren't savages. I don't want to set a horrible example for the children. But at the same time, like, it's bad because he's not going to pay you I'll anyways. Deal with the man. Just make sure you pay up. If you need anything else, or forget where to find the dagger man, speak to us again. I don't know. I feel like this is just not gonna it's not gonna be good either way it's because both sound like both options sounds dumb talking to him that's stupid killing him i don't want to make the ladies mad but it's like seriously it's not it there's no there's no good way behind it or there's no uh where are we at let me let me see something first before we continue um <clears throat> it says chalkis city in his house is in Chalk within chalkis city southwest of the temple of poseidon Okay, there we go. It's so it's in it's in the city, which is where we're at, anyways. Lives in southwest of the temple. Where's the temple? I know I visited the Trump temple, really. Oh, there it is. Um, so southwest. So southwest. So somewhere around here, I'm guessing. Like actually, in, in this particular area, maybe. All right. It's not this. This is the leader's house. At the same time, I don't think the leader's house is that. I don't think the leader's house. Is something that would house one of the side missions like that easily. It has to be usually a main quest or a big, like a big side quest rather than a smaller one. Okay, my bet is around that area, I guess, like around the marked area that I just did. So, oh, oh, really? It's in the Lear's house, really? That's him. Oh, Dad come on! The theater couple. It's in the freaking. Oh my goodness. 
It's near or in the leader's house, really? Oh my goodness. I thought I was not gonna have to deal with it. I guess I had to deal with it. Right, here we go. Sadly, we had to go in here and do whatever it is. Got him, I guess. I will probably walk away. He's now questioning where he saw me. I need you. I need you. Is he actually in the leader's house or is he actually somewhere else? No, he's probably somewhere else. What in? Just die. There we go. There's that dead body gone. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that I was going to be jumping all the way up and then getting, getting caught up with whatever it was there. I was imagining that I was going to pull him down and just, like, kill him from there. Yeah, they both don't know where the bodies are, so it wouldn't matter anyways for them. There we go. Another one. We're close to leveling up, though. That's pretty good, though. I don't think the guy is in actually in the house, I don't think. He's probably outside of it. Yeah, this thing doesn't allow me to, like... Hang on the walls on the side there. There goes that guy. And out. There's one more guy over here. And... Gone. Cool. Awesome. Now we can be in this house whenever, or however we need to be. I wonder why they still, like, have the problem of stealing. Why why encourage the message of stealing when... Uh, let me also mark the thing off the map as well, the marker. Yeah, I was... <laughs> so I was right, it's like outside the leader's house. Okay, cool. Um... Oh, wait, what the heck? Why is this still marked? Why are you still marked on the map? There we go. I wanted to remove the marker at the very least. But yeah, like, I don't know why they, uh, why the game encourages to say, like, it's a stealing when I'm, like, I'm already in this place and I'm just, like, doing whatever, but, like, really? Really? Am I really stealing now? Or am I just, like, whatever? Jesus, this game is really lagging on the, on the recording. Well, the, the re recording's lagging, the game's not lagging at, at all whatsoever. It's just a matter of, like, whatever it is. Let me see the inventory first. I'm letting my recording just, like catch up a little bit before it, I get back to this part here because it seems like the recording is a little bit rough on the on this particular area here some more stuff here again I don't get why it's called stealing when this whole place is kind of against me anyways already by that point like it's a, a dangerous spot for me in general all right let's get down here to get the war chest here the war Supplies, I mean, not chests. There we go. I believe burning these things will help me a little bit. Alright, is there anything else in here that I can loot? I'd rather call it loot than steal because there's really actually nothing to steal in here, really. There's rain as well now. Jesus. There's one more thing, but it's down at the bottom here. Yep. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Jesus. Oh, let me... Yeah, let me steal these things and then get out of here and then save. Right, we got some supplies. We got a lot of supplies, honestly. But... Alright, there's one more treasure, but it's like... I didn't... Wait. Oh, oh, okay, I guess. That was like sitting right there. I wasn't even looking at it. I am terribly sorry if it's lagging like crazy on the on the recording, and again, it's like I think it's it is probably partially the fact that my uh, wait what? That's not where the loot treasure is sitting. Oh, it's up there on the it's on the roof basically. I was like, where the hell did I saw it? It was like confusing me. But yeah, I'm terribly sorry if it's lagging like crazy on the recording. Um, got pole march helmet. So that's pretty good, I guess. And getting up and down. 
And level up, finally. Jesus. Finally got the level up I needed. Alright, let me go and save first before we continue here. Uh, save. Um, you know what? Let me go a new save. I'm gonna do the new save for like the first time uh, ever because I wanted to, or first time for a while. The reason why is because I want to try and uh, get some stuff out of it or some good stuff out of it. Um, so we can't. Oh yeah, we had to progress the story for that. That's also for the story again. Slow time. Move faster than. Hermes, as time is slowed down for five seconds. I'm guessing this is an ability. Noise for assassinating is going to be reduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Further move. Oh, yeah. I need to progress to the story further. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Um, Yeah, I wanted to power up the weapon stuff. The, the warrior stuff. Or maybe the hunter stuff. I'll do weapons first. And then I'll do the armor after that. Okay. I'm going to try to get the mastery stuff out of the way because those are the kind of things that are super useful for me in general. And so it's better off that I just try and do the do those things first before anything. Because more damage and more uh, protection for myself, like more armor and more uh, damage will definitely make the fight easier for me a little bit. I don't... Oh Jesus Christ! That's funny. the big house they were talking about. Is it really that big? I, can't keep doing I guess this, it is big. But I have to. I have to do this for family. What? I wanted to talk, bro. Oh. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, Alright, I felt like it was gonna happen. Um, yeah, the game froze. I think the game doesn't come back ever when it freezes like this. It means that the game's crashed, basically, or the game's not working anymore. I still don't get how it's, like, doing this. Oh, maybe it's because the recording, because of the buildup of the things for the recording, causes the game to... Oh, yeah, that might be the case. Let me actually exit this game. I'll be right back. It's gonna be pretty much me just closing the game and starting over again. So, we'll, we'll be right back. Alrighty, welcome back. So, sorry about that. Apparently, I... I I'm, uh, my assumption now is the fact that uh, the game was, like, clogging up. Like, the graphics... The GPU wasn't processing the OBS stuff quick enough, and so the game was also doing that. Uh, and, and it was also blocking the game from, like, activating its stuff. And so my assumption was the fact that uh, the reason why the game keeps freezing and the GPU is just failing at it is because it's doing both tasks... And it's doing more of the Assassin's Creed task, but then it's doing also partially the OBS task or the, the recording task. And as it's, do, as it's doing its recording stuff, it can't keep up with the OBS stuff, so it shuts down the game or freezes the game because it wants to finish up the OBS task or the recording tasks before uh, continuing with the recording that's stuff. That's the big house they were talking about. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much why I think it might have been crashing. But I'm glad I saved before the thing, and I knew for, like, instinctually I knew that all these crashes... All these type of crashes causes me to feel a bit sketchy about like what's gonna happen next. Uh, I did turn down the setting for environmental detail. I think environmental detail is now down by like very high. It's funny because I kept it at ultra high because I felt that uh, I wanted to have high details with it. But I think that uh, if the game keeps constantly crashing or the OBS keeps lagging, I have to turn down the details to hopefully accommodate to the recording I better. Find and deal with the dagger. I don't know if if I should kill him or not, but he is a mercenary though. I gotta have to hide behind here first. Come down here. Now stay down. Alright. I see how they consider that murder, but... At the same time, I don't know what to do with the other guy though. But yeah, hopefully um, turning down the, the the environmental detail will help me record these things more efficiently, or at least more like smoothly. I want to have more smoother like performance and gameplay, but of course, obviously, turning down the details will have to be my trade-off, maybe because I don't have a great CPU or GPU anymore. So, like, I have like a 1070 and everything. Oh, geez.
Is the guy I'm looking for not actually trying to kill me? Or is he actually... Yeah, he's not trying to kill me at all. It seems like. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta kill this guy first. I think that's a guy I need to not worry about. Okay. Who's who? Okay, that's the guy I need to not kill. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like how I'm just doing this, like, nonchalantly. Let's see if this is gonna make things stupid. Okay, we're good. Alright, um, I did hear that the game can go unarmed. Like, you can actually play this game unarmed. I was looking through the tip, and I was like, it says Pacifist Creed. I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> Excuse me. Um... So you can actually go unarmed. That's so weird. I wonder how. I don't want to kill this guy, but at the same time, I don't want to fight him with my weapons right now. You know what I'm going to actually do? I'm still going to actually disarm myself. Yeah, I'm going to go and disarm myself. Just don't know how to freaking remove it. Remove my weapons. Can I remove it somehow? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm not killing them yet. Let me see if... Okay, there we go. I'll carry this guy to the freaking guys, I guess. Uh, maybe that's... Yeah, maybe that's might be the move that I need to deal with. Let's go carry this guy all the way to the, uh... To the couple, I guess. I'm kind of curious if this is the case of how I can handle it, I guess. But I didn't expect myself to be using fists and stuff, but... At the same time, I couldn't figure out a way to, like... I don't know how there would be, uh... Oh, I see why. Because the menu didn't read it. The menu thought it was me just pressing on no nothing. Right, let's go and carry this guy all the way to the uh, to them, I guess. I mean, isn't this like the right way to do it? If you're if if, if we're doing the quest, if you're doing this quest, why the hell would you not carry the guy to them? All right, gotta go this way. I think that's where the theater is at. Might be wrong, but who knows? Oh, yep, there is. This is definitely the theater. Hello, folks and folks. I have the. I have the guy you needed. I'm gonna bring you guys. Bring you guys this. Oh no! Oh, okay, there we go. Game froze a little bit for like a quick second. I think it's because it's trying to finish up the tasks with the thing. I don't know what to do with this guy, though. He's been beat up. I don't know. What more do you want, Mistios? I brought the guy. This tiger man. Where will I find him? He lives in the biggest house in town. I really, there are many guards <laughs> I really there, asked. So be it. careful. You are prolific creatures. Eros would be proud. Well, no. What are you saying? They're they the adopted them. The hours. Yeah. They're orphans. We just started taking them in, one at a time. Yeah. And Look at us now. One big happy family. And I can't wait for it to expand again. Idiot. Don't make it sound weird. I've got all I need. I'll deal with the man. Remember, no killing. No blood. Go now, Mistios. Do what you must. Thank you. I don't know what to do. Oh, his body disappeared again. My assumption is that I'm supposed to knock him out or something, maybe? Or beat him in a fight or something? I don't know. He disappeared, though, which is... Oh, no, there is his body. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize his body just moved a bit somewhere else. How can I talk to this dude? I can beat him up to the last part of it, but it, I, I just don't get it. 
Also, I don't know how to throw a body. I need to figure out how to throw a body as well. Um, that's one thing I'm actually not familiar with. Options, I guess? Yeah, I see some dips in the performance. Not because of the game, but because of the fact that I'm recording it. That makes it harder for me to do whatever it is. Um... No... HUD... Sound... Controls, there we go. What is the controls for carrying a body? I don't see that. Uh, switch melee weapons, I already know how to do that. Navigate, I already know. Controls, secondary controls, photo mode, lock. Secondary interact? There is there a secondary interact? Yeah, I don't see throw body or something like that. Or drop body. I don't see that control. Oh, there it is. Dropped object is... Oh, God. These control schemes are just put in place in a weird way. Drop body is... <sighs> RT, I think it looks like. No. I don't get it. Yeah, because it's, like, weirdly placed. The, the controls are being placed in a weird place. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, sheesh. Okay, well, I'm gonna try my best. Here the body. Gonna give it a shot here. I mean, I wouldn't imagine it as, like... Okay, there's the drop body. They said secondary interact is... No, that's not it. Nope. Oh. How do... How do I, I... I don't know what to do. It says either talk to the guy or kill the guy. And there's no option of talking to the guy because once you walk up to the dude, he becomes sort of like aggro. And there's no like... I don't know. I don't know what to do with this dude. I don't want to kill him either. I already beat him up. He's already down. There was a control for uh, inviting him into our crew, right? Like, in in crew, uh, to the ship? Inviting to the ship kind of thing? Jeez, I'm just... it's There's no way of good telling me on how to, to, to play this game better or good enough. Customize controls, maybe? No, not this one. Uh, customize controls for controllers. Knockout? Okay. Um, secondary interaction is... Oh, that's a thing? It's left, left analog stick pressed down. There's no secondary interaction, so no. Uh, no, I wanted to go back to this. What are the other options? I'm sorry I'm wasting my time just trying to do this. Uh, or wasting you guys' like, episode for this. But it's like, I, I think it's important for me to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with this because I have no clue. Oh, meditate is actually a thing. Why do you call it meditate when you guys should have called it wait? Because it seems like they're just trying to copy The Witcher so bad right now. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I have to say that's kind of almost like a copycat thing to do, uh, if that's the case. I'd like to call it a particular control that's similar to The Witcher already. Harass, interact, harass, hover, Oh, this is Eagle, okay. Um, that's not what I want. Navigation, ship, interactions, switch to range, torch, whistle, call mount, revelation. What's a revelation? What does revelation do? Oh, it's that thing, okay. I, uh, I see what it is. I have no clue what to do with this guy. I actually don't know what to do with this dude. I have no clue what the hell I'm supposed to do with this dude. I mean, I can throw him off the stage, I guess. But that's just being rude to the kids, honestly. Let me see. Maybe you going up here, I guess, somewhere? Oh, maybe drop him in the water, I guess.
Surprising, he's not drowning. <laughs> I'm surprised. Should I reenact the Last of Us Part 2 scene for the ending, I guess? I mean, honestly, this is exactly almost like that <laughs> in terms of the scene of the, the current scene that I'm in. I'm sorry I'm making fun of something, but... Okay, no, not, not that way. I don't know why I'm walking away from the body. Alright, well, I killed the dude anyways. I couldn't do any... I couldn't talk. I seriously could not talk to the dude. He never let me... He doesn't look like he'll ever let me talk. Ever. Unless I did something different. What happened? Yeah, so apparently killing the dude results in that. I'll send the children away. Make sure this dagger Malaka doesn't get to- Shut up! We'll find every last one of your precious kids. They'll fetch a good price. <laughs> I think that's the guy we're looking for. Release them this instant. I'll let them go. After I've made a few cuts. Oh really? Malaka! The dagger doesn't appreciate your intrusions into our affairs. Then try to kill then me first. Like it should get out of my way. I'm a man that likes a little drama. So let's make this interesting. You, Miss Theo, seem to have a flair for the dramatic. And we are in a theater after all. So let's have you decide how this play will play out. <laughs> this case laugh is crazy though. Someone's got to die here today. Oh really? Easy. That's you. Try, and these two will have their throats slit before you even reach me. Don't do anything rash, Miss Dios. Okay. But like I was saying, someone's got to die. But just one. It's always more fun when one lover is alive to watch the other bleed. Oh, really? So meddling, Miss Dios. Tell us, who should live? Save Idea, Miss Dios. What? No! Save Frexileos, Miss Dios. The kids can do no, without you. No, save Idea, please. You'll be saving All right, water. time's up. Pick an ending to our little play, Mistios. Why can't I just... I'll save them both, but you will die, dagger scum. Yeah, I'm tired of this Wrong guy. Answer. I'm tired of this guy. Mistios, get to Skiros. Tell Agapios. That's where they control Evia from. Stop them. You okay. No, are you serious? This is how it goes? Oh, this is stupid. Oh, this is such a stupid freaking mission ever. Well, you guys are dead anyways. I don't care what you guys do. Your leader is dead, you freaking idiots. Kick! Oh, I don't know what to do with this guy. Can I actually throw this guy, actually? Oh, no, that's not how you throw it. Let me see if I can throw this guy. I really want to throw this guy. No, I... Yeah, I can't really throw the guy. I wish I could throw him. Screw off. Let your dying words go to waste. Arapios will know about Skiros. And I will avenge the both of you. I still need to meet all of Arapios' contacts. That wasn't satisfying, though. I had a feeling that both would die if I didn't do something about it. You know what? I'm gonna rewind. I'm, I'm actually genuinely curious. Is it gonna make the game... ...way rougher if I did that? If I was to go to, uh... I think this is the one, right? Because it was about a minute in before I got into the fight there, I guess. Alright, let me finish this. Let me do this and then we'll finish the episode after this. I'm kind of confused by what the hell, like... Like, what... What if I freaking, uh... Yeah, I don't know. What if I sacrifice one of them? It wouldn't matter, I feel like. Because it means that they both... Oh, they actually... Okay, that's not where I need to... <laughs> that is definitely not where I need to load. I guess the fight ended right when I just got that minute over. Um, 32. I think it took about two minutes to... It's, it's two, either two minutes to talk, uh, or two minutes for me to kill the guy and then walk over to their little conversation, I guess. 
I want to see what happens. I actually am curious, genuinely curious, because I think that's a garbage side quest right there. Like, I'm sorry if it's if I'm saying it like it's garbage. Here's my reason behind, behind why I'm saying it's garbage. It's because it didn't seem like I did the mission in expectation of like. She didn't look too dangerous. Yeah, see, she said that, and I'm like, okay, fine, you know, like that was that whatever, whatnot. And the next thing you know, there there comes randomly a person that's come out of nowhere just to put me in a position where I'm like forced in a decision to help or hurt one or the other. Alright, let me go cut through this cutscene, I guess. If I can get through this cutscene, I guess. I've sent the children away. Shut up. Oh wait, I, I see I see where it was skipping. I We'll find every last one of you. One of the yeah, one of the buttons actually skips the conversation. Um We can discuss this. You are in no position to th Then you my like it should get out of Okay, I'm so it goes into the same line. So let's get to the someone Someone must die here. I won't let anyone die today. If you don't make a choice between these two lovebirds, I'll kill you. Yeah, see both. he didn't say that earlier I when I think he's playing around, Mistios! But like I was saying, but just one! It's always so meddling, Mistios. Save idea, Mistios. What? No! Save Prexileos, Mistios! The kids can do no, without him! No, save idea, please! You'll be saving All right, water. time's up! Pick an ending to our little play, Mistios! You'll be saving more than anything. Idea, let her live. She was my choice, too! Are you sure? Go to Skiros, Mistios! What a happy six, you learn everything about the doctor, about Ne. No! What have you done? No! Brexileos! Brexileos, answer me! Whew. That was a close one. Couldn't risk this little man running his mouth on more than he should have. You couldn't even let them say goodbye? I'll wipe that grin off Well, your... now you've heard some things we really wish you hadn't. And you've been so cooperative, too. Such a shame. A shame, I tell you. But it's time for the hero to die now. Kill the Mistios. I I, I hate that performance. Oh wow, she can also, she can also die from. She can also die in this this fight. Again, she's getting in my way. I don't like this. Get out. Screw up. Idea, I'm. I won't forgive them, Mistios. I'll kill them. I won't stop until every one of these dagger bastards is dead. Remember what you said about setting an example for your children. Kill them, Mistios. Kill every last one of them on Skiros. They will die for what they've done to you and Evia. Every last one. Hmm, interesting. Skiros. Agapios needs to know about this. I still need to meet all of Agapios' contacts. Alright. So I think the... Oh wow, there's more XP. Or Yeah, that's more XP than the letting them both die. Actually, that's surprising. The rewards is a little bit different from when I spare one of them. That's so weird. See, this is what I'm just saying. Like, it's just... I'll, I'll keep this ending. I'll keep this, this decision I made. Uh, even though I know it's kind of rude to just backtrack just to get a different ending and try to see what the hell happens there. I think I prefer the female or the male, like, one of the lovers surviving kind of thing. But at the same time, I feel like it's such a rude, like, decision to hash out on you because you didn't really get to... Yeah, I think there's a lot of that going around in the side quest so far that I've been playing. Um, and that's a, a key issue with this game and the side quest stuff. Side quest stuff, a lot of it feels like, you know, just normal stuff that you don't really care about as much. But then they give you these decisions and these hard choices. Like, uh, one of them was sparing the family or killing the family because of the disease that's potentially going to spread in the island. Or uh, this island where it's like, kill the husband or kill the wife or kill them both. And I'm just like... These are great hard choices, but you didn't give me time to realize anything. You didn't give me chances to know these people. Instead, I have to get on the choice and 
voila, magic. There's nothing I can do. I have no reason to even think any of the choices were great to me anyways. Even she was, like, just pushing. I guess she, she gave him, like, if I chose the choice of sparing her, maybe even him, uh, we could just get the chance of being pushed to, like, we would have a bigger push and a bigger, like, bigger good reason to, like, hunt down these fools, these, the dagger fools. And, uh, yeah, I mean, she's the one who said speak to them first before you kill them, or don't kill them, and just speak with them, negotiate with them. But instead, this is what you get. The lady literally just got what she wanted. We spoke, and they didn't care. They just killed you anyways. See, this is what I mean. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to the story in terms of the side quest that that's this, or any of the other ones that does make you decide on these hard choices of letting somebody die or live. I think that's why I feel like that's kind of, like, not... It's garbage almost in a way, but it's not garbage. It's good choicing, but with bad like build up to it, and that's the hard part. Is like I understand how savage dag the dagger is as a group, but they didn't give me a chance to just decide things over or actually get myself to learn these couples as much uh, as I should have been because they they only just came by. I just only just I only had the chance to just say. Uh, I only I only had the chance to listen to them say and bicker and argue about what I should do with this one guy. And I'm like, that's it. Like, there's nothing about their background, about the back, like, but beyond the orphans, and that's it. Like, how are they interaction, like, in loved ones? Like, how, how do they display their inner, like, it, it's barely very little, and if you did not click on those, like, options of, like, talking to them outside of the mission, or before you kill the guy, or after you, oh yeah, before you kill the guy, then you actually have zero clue on what the hell they're all about as a couple. And so it becomes very useless of a situation where you don't force the player to just figure out who they are as a person before actually doing the killing and actually figuring out who to spare and who's not to spare. I feel like that's just... It, it's really poorly done a little bit, but I think that that's why it could have been done better if given a chance to see more interaction between the couple beyond an argument, beyond saying, like, these, these, these kids are orphans. Like, I wish there was more to it, but... Other th otherwise, that's pretty much it for me this episode. I'm sorry for this weird drawn-out episode for now. But, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll do the rest of the side quest that is given to me by the slave. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. So, Roz, out.